I just kind of wanted to demonstrate this kind of, I guess you could say um, prototype level, but I feel like this level is kind of getting to where it needs to be to be used in the game. Obviously we've got missing textures, uh, we feel like we should maybe populate the place a little bit more, but it's th these assets are going to be used in the game. Um, all of this is from scratch, made over the weekend after the project was set. Um, but what I kind of really want to talk about is how this flashlight works, because as you will know by now, because this comes at the end of the presentation, hopefully, uh, this flashlight obviously acts as a weapon to burn back ghostly attackers, and it was kind of awkward trying to figure out how that was going to work. But in the end we kind of came to a conclusion that we could use this um, conical collider as a trigger, so that when an enemy enters the cone of where the flashlight's hitting, uh, they begin to take damage. And originally that seemed like really simple. Okay, fine, enemy enters, trigger, they take damage, job done. But uh, we started to realize that, oh, actually, hold on a minute. So what happens if they are hidden behind an object? Uh, that's not gonna, it's not gonna fly because the light isn't actually hitting them, yet they're still gonna be taking damage. So what we came up with in the end is we will, and I'll, I'll just demonstrate real quick. So what we've got is a script on the enemy here. Um, and so, okay, he's in the cone of light, nothing's happening because I'm not in weapon mode. So you see we have a normal mode and then we hold the mouse button down and we have a UV mode. Okay, so when in UV mode, that is when the rest of this script is allowed to activate. So if I just point that at him, you see this uh, enemy close variable up in the top uh, turns to true up, up in the at top right here. Um, but what happens if I then decide to try and shine the light from behind here? Uh, literally nothing. Uh, and the reason that's happening is instead of just detecting when they come into the trigger, what we're doing is when they come into the trigger, we request a ray cast from the player to the object. Now the light is also originating from the player, therefore logically anything that blocks the light will also block said ray cast, which means that if an object is casting a shadow onto the enemy, that object will also block the ray cast coming out from the player and therefore no damage will be dealt because the ray cast won't reach its target. Uh, and we do have a basic damage script, so if you can see the uh, HP of the enemy up to the right is currently 0 0.76 something. Uh, so if I just hold the light down on him and bang, he's gone, he's dead. Um, and do the same for this one, just burn, 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 and he's dead. So that is basically how the flashlight weapon is going to work in the game. Uh, obviously it needs some refining, it needs a cooldown timer so you can't just spam the blue light everywhere because otherwise the whole point of hunting down mimics and figuring out which item of furniture is going to eat you alive wouldn't be so terrifying because you just spin in a circle like that and kill everything. 